Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details here, and I have this gorgeous F-250 in for an interior detail today. I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to answer a question that actually one of my customers asked me when I asked what are some tips that you would like to have on interiors or details or exteriors of vehicles. She said one of the things that she has a problem with is getting into tight areas, so I want to share with you what I do to get into tight areas. Now I'm not the type of detailer that's going to pull seats. One, I don't want to deal with the liability of if a bolt doesn't go in properly or it snaps or having to have all the equipment that's required plus they're heavy and bulky and they can cut you and you can damage things. So this is how I get into tight spaces for seats. So let me show you guys what I do. All right, so essentially you really just need three things. You need your shop bag, a good wet dry vac that has a high ho horsepower, five horsepower I think is a, a good uh, base to kind of start at. You're going to want a long crevice tool attachment. Here's kind of a standard one and you can see that definitely gives us more of a reach. And then you need a like kind of a mother's detail crevice brush. I will use this a lot of times if I'm cleaning kind of in these areas, I will brush everything out. But then especially like, let's say you have along the edge of the seat here. So first things first, when you're doing a detail, you wanna pull your seat as far back as possible. And you can tell we have. A lot of times people will just kind of back in their seats where it's at, and that doesn't give you a whole lot of reach. You can see because we've moved our seat back, that gives us almost two to three inches more to work with. And obviously you wanna get down low. And a lot of times with seats, if you kind of pull the seat back, that's gonna give you access to right here you can see I can access all the way right here now some of these areas let's pull in tight I don't know if you can see very well but you can see we've got a lot of dirt and debris that's kind of in these tight spaces right here and your vacuum's not going to be able to get to them so what I will do sorry I'll try to adjust the light is I will get you can either use compressed air and blow it out if you don't have compressed air you can also use this method and just kind of agitate it okay so we're going to get in there and you can see we got a lot of this stuff that was down here and then we'll just vacuum that up so that's this one angle here so then we can vacuum all of this right here get down and that'll get a majority of the stuff down along the seats you can kind of get in here you'd be surprised how far back you can get okay so we're going to actually pull the seat up and forward and then i'll show you how to do the remainder on the back so let's pull this up okay so we pulled that up and you can see just how far we were able to go beyond the seat. But then we'll come back here and look here. Look how much we were able to gain access to everywhere where my hand was. And now, if you see here, we can gain access to all of this right here, the crumbs. You can use your detail brush, get in there, agitate, get all that stuff up and out. You can get your detail brush. You can even come in here clean out your seat track and that kind of gets you into a lot of these tighter spaces but having the right tools and I mean you can buy a two set of these for I think five dollars on Amazon I'll put the link down below but having a extended crevice tool attachment for your vacuum and a crevice brush that will gain access to a majority of the tight spaces that are going to be in your vehicle even if you're needing to get into corners like this, you can agitate, get in there. You need to get in here. Most vacuums wouldn't be able to get you in there. So between this, and if you do have a compressor or even a leaf blower, um, I know that the X Power blower, I just bought it and that actually would be a really good tool to kind of blow stuff out. You can blow and use your brush simultaneously if you can't necessarily get your vacuum in there, blow it out. So, and I mean, you can even use something like the uh, compressed air for computer screens, things like that, to kind of blow stuff out if you need to get into your vents. Now you can use something like this. I'm not even vacuuming that out. And you can see right there, we were able to get all of the dirt out. So detail brushes are going to be your best friend when you're trying to get things kind of out of narrow spaces. You don't want to have too aggressive. Obviously, you want to have a surface that's going to match. I wouldn't use something like this on a metal finish like this because it's going to damage it. You could use it on the hard vinyl here. 
but if you have like a chrome finish or even like the painted metal finish you wouldn't want to do that but narrow spaces this is going to be your biggest advantage having the detail brushes and honestly if these were the only two you had that would be for the most part sufficient to getting every narrow space within your vehicle so i hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video tip on how to clean narrow spaces inside your vehicle if you have any other questions or suggestions on videos that you'd like to see done feel free to give me a shout out comment down below you know send me a message on facebook i am always interested and willing to hear your suggestions for things that will make your life easier and simpler so thanks for watching guys you have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next video after looks like on this interior pardon me I'm moving too fast it needs to focus you can see we got in all along our tight spaces all the hair and sand that were kind of wedged in between those tighter spaces has been agitated and vacuumed up actually didn't even have to shampoo this carpet which is awesome and I know we didn't show this side but it was equally as dirty and you can see we got all of that dirt and debris out so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and this tip on how to kind of take your interiors, you know, kind of to that next level, pro level of detailing. And if you guys have any other suggestions on videos that you'd like to see done, please feel free to comment down below or message me on my Facebook page. But I know I already kind of did a wrap up for this, but again, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Please be sure to subscribe. Um, you know, I'm definitely hoping to one day just be able to be to the level where I can afford to have more products and more demos and more testing and every subscription every follower helps make that possible so you guys have a fantastic day and we will see you in the next video